What up YouTube, this is Zertrix, and this is my fifth tutorial now, I'm pretty sure. And this is going to be another basic tutorial, like I said, I'm going to be putting out a lot of basics, because it just seems like what the people want to see is basic tutorials to help get them started out in Photoshop. So this one's going to be how to uh, use the the penciling option, like, like how, not really how to use the pencil, but say you made a cool logo using the pen tool, and you want to make that 2D logo you made on Photoshop and bring it to Cinema 4D and make it a 3D logo uh, I'll be showing you how to do that so it does involve Cinema 4D so if you don't know what Cinema 4D is and you don't even never heard of it then I don't think this is really the tutorial for you unless you have Cinema 4D so don't worry about me making the new tab or anything sorry right. so say you made a logo I'm just gonna make a quick little this is gonna look terrible I just wanna do it real quick say you made your logo your logo is just like for some reason uh, hold on. Let me make it some guidelines here for a straight square at least. Some, I'm going to make triangles or something. I don't know. But say this is your logo. I don't know why this would be your logo. But just say it is. Oh, whoops. Alright, so that's one path right there. That's going to be saved under the, the main work path. You're going to want to make a new path. So this is just to add another part to your logo but I would go back to this path and go to a new layer not the background layer but a new layer and fill that in so I get an idea of what it looks like and hit enter to get that path away then go to path one if you're gonna like create a new path with the little button at the bottom right not the trash can with the one on the left that's to create a new path layer that's so you could add stuff to your little logo that you made right here so that's the logo right there then you'd fill that in so say I like that logo I know it's a really ugly logo and nothing special about it this is just for the tutorial example um, I have these two paths and I want to make this logo 3d on cinema 4d I really like it and I want to bring it to cinema 4d so I can make it 3d I would um, go to file go to export and go to paths to illustrator and go to all paths okay uh, I mean this is a basic tutorial, a lot of people know how to do this, but just for those that don't and would like to. Name it Tut. Random numbers. Alright, then on Cinema 40, that's basically done there. Cinema 40, say you have your little light kit. Say you have your light kit open right now, and if you open something while you have your light kit, it's going to delete your whole entire light kit. So instead of, instead of uh, opening, you want to go to File merge in and you merge in your um, your paths uh, where are they alright so here's my paths alright so you want to do scale one one centimeters uh, connect sp uh, spleens and yeah just copy what I did there and there's your logo and pretty sure you guys know how to add 3d to the logo you put the plus sign then you go to this extrude nerves extrude nerves again because I have two paths put one path in one extrude nerve and one path in the other extrude nerd nerd <laughs> nerve and now you have your 3d logo and now you can mess with it do whatever you want but um yeah you don't want to add both paths into one nerve it won't work right so just do as I uh, did right there and it will be successful so that's basically it guys, um, I want to talk about something real quick though, I'm getting a PBR soon, probably around March 14th, like, I don't know, around there is when I'll be getting paid, and I'll probably get it by like the 20th, or the 30th, or uh, not the 30th, but like the 20th or the 25th, because it takes a while for the money to clear on bank account, so it's going to take a little bit, but that's just a little uh, update I'll be getting a PVR so I'll be able to make some gaming videos as well so I'm gonna have a large variety of videos on my channel and another thing is my uh, channel's views been freezing up a lot lately I don't know what it's about but I was rolling in a good thousand views a day and now my uh, social blade and everything's freezing up on me at like 300 and everything and they're freezing for like two days I don't know what's wrong with it but I just want to thank you guys for your support and helping me out with my new channel and getting it views. I really appreciate it. So stay tuned for some more amazing Photoshop uh, tutorials. 
But yeah, that's all I got, guys. I'm out. This has been Zertrix. Peace.